Hello friends, uh, welcome to Acharya 90 FM. Myself Tejaswini. Today in our segment, we have coming up with a new podcast that is uh, we as we provide media partnership for various programs. Uh, we are coming up with a new program which is happening in Sri Lanka, which is uh, comes under Sri Lanka UNFIA. That is conference from November 18 to November 22nd, and all this conference in Sri Lanka is organized by Dr. Subukrish, who is the Uh, international director for United Nations Federation of Astrology and also the director of Padmavati International NGO. So, welcome to Acharya Ninety FM. Good morning. Appreciate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, we always provide uh, our media partnership that is Acharya Ninety FM's media partnership for his various events. So, uh, I welcome you and feel obliged to get associated with uh, all the activities of Padmavati International NGO. So first of all, this event is happening in Sri Lanka. So we all excited to go Sri Lanka, visit Sri Lanka, and what is going to happen in Sri Lanka. We excited to know about all the sessions. So first of all, I'll straight ask you the question that is Sri Lanka UNFIA that is conference which is happening from November eighteen to November twenty second. What is the conference all about? See, basically, the president of United Nations Federation International Astrology, Dr. Ranjit Thotapa. Hmm. he had come to india couple of uh, years back for a conference at mussoorie hmm. and that was organized by the faridabad the jyoti sang hmm. so that was our first interaction okay. and then he was planning to have a conference in sri lanka hmm. but then suddenly two months back he approached me and then finally he asked me how do you feel and uh, how can you come on board and everything mm-hmm. so then finally i gave him round about 23 people mm-hmm. and uh, out of that we have dr ravira jairao from bombay mm-hmm. the was to expert mm-hmm. then we have the google world astrologer record holder dr ajay bambi ji coming in mm-hmm. uh, acharya anil basji is also joining this program mm-hmm. we have other couple of eminent celebrities like uh, yashashri madhav joshi from pune then we have advocate ashish gupta ji from uh, delhi mm-hmm. and then we have uh, dr mukul rastogi as well as we have acharya dr arun bharadwaj mm-hmm. these are the eminent celebrities who are joining this program mm-hmm. and then from kerala we have uh, dr kc sunil babu mm-hmm. who is also an astrologer who is also a healer Mm-hmm. joining in this program so we tried approximately my target was to have at least 25 people oh. coming to sri lanka yeah but then uh, certain people dropped off mm-hmm. because of certain reasons okay but then uh, certain people have shown interest and then the final list what we have currently mm-hmm. is 23 people coming in from here okay. and approximately around about another 8 people are coming from the northeastern and eastern sector mm-hmm. so it will be at approximately 30 32 indians attending this program wow Mm-hmm. This program basically is being organized at one of the prestigious hall in Colombo, mm-hmm. and uh, it is very expensive. It's an auditorium where almost five uh, thousand people can accommodate into that auditorium, mm-hmm. and uh, the ex president of uh, Sri Lanka is attending this program. Okay. So the award ceremony would be on the nineteenth. Eighteenth, mm-hmm. the guests, everybody will be arriving. and evening we would be having some hindu ritual pujas and mm. all and then on the 19th the main function would be there with the conference and the award ceremony mm-hmm. and in the late evening we'll have a networking as well as provided with the dinner and uh, other mm. aspects then we have some sightseeing yeah. where uh, it is the episode of ramayan which sita vatika is mm-hmm. a quite prominent place in sri lanka yeah then ravana who was a prestigious devotee of lord shiva mm-hmm. his palace is also existing in uh, sri lanka okay. so would be we would be taking certain people to that place as well as uh, visiting candy and colombo mm-hmm. so that is how we have placed for two days the sightseeing program <laughs> okay. and then on 22nd all the guests would be returning back to india yeah that is our test Yeah, but uh, how to register for this Sri Lanka conference? See, if people are interested even now also. Hmm. They can book their flight tickets. Hmm. The flight tickets from Mumbai to Colombo, Colombo to Mumbai is approximately twenty-eight thousand rupees. Okay. And uh, the apart from that, the registration fee, the sightseeing, hmm. as well as the award and the transportation and accommodation hmm. with meals and would be thirty-two thousand five hundred. Okay. So. 
approximately if that 32500 can be mm-hmm. given immediately mm-hmm. we can register and process the candidate yeah and the flight tickets can be booked mm-hmm. because the visa is on arrival at sri lanka okay. you don't require a visa mm-hmm. from october 1st the government has changed the rules mm-hmm. it can be a free visa as well as an e visa also mm-hmm. that is out yeah great so any of uh, sites or or a mail id you can share for bookings yeah if anybody wants to contact they can contact me acharya mm-hmm. subukrish on 9152727710 mm-hmm. and uh, they can whatsapp me we, we can provide all the details of the sri lanka tour mm-hmm. and then approximately we can register them if people are ready to register even now also mm-hmm. because we have still time it's approximately what one today is the exactly, yeah, one month. exactly one uh, month is there so if people are interested they can join in yeah So, what is actually your motive behind organizing this conference? See, basically, what happened is Dr. Ranjit Thotapa, the president, he was uh, not getting the right people. Mm-hmm. So he approached, and then finally he saw the contacts and everything, and then he saw the programs of my previous uh, functions at Mumbai and Ronawala. Mm-hmm. But he was supposed to attend, but due to some uh, domestic reasons, he couldn't come. Mm-hmm. So accordingly, he cross-checked everything, and then he said, "Okay, fine, we'll have a tie-up in future. We can have a lot of programs across mm-hmm. the international level." Mm-hmm. So next year we are having in the month of uh, April May mm-hmm. in Pune or Mumbai or most probably it will be at uh, Nasik or Kolhapur mm-hmm. the International Business Excellence Award. Okay. So for that also people are interested they mm-hmm. can contact me directly. Okay. and the registration fees would be 15000 rupees for that mm-hmm. but uh, that will be an international universal business excellence award mm-hmm. but in that segment we have kept open for everybody mm-hmm. uh, any business entrepreneur who is interested mm-hmm. any person from the doctor profession any mm-hmm. professional person who really wants to have this award mm-hmm. they can come forward attend the conference mm-hmm. and then have the award yeah the need of such conference is actually due to stress <coughs> which we are facing nowadays so i would like to uh, put uh, you to put on some light on stress uh, what we are facing this day see basically the current situation what i'm seeing after the post pandemic a mm-hmm. uh, lot of corporates are going through stress management okay and in fact i tried approaching the corporates mm-hmm. but they are not available on the weekends mm-hmm. because monday to friday yeah. itself that takes the working hours toll on them mm-hmm. so saturday sunday they don't want to spend on anything on uh, workshop programs mm-hmm. or on healing sessions or on uh, motivational thing or any other programs they don't want to attend mm-hmm. but in fact what is happening is the current um, managers or the current middle management or the senior management mm-hmm. they don't want to put in the efforts mm. the efforts what has been done is by the ground level employees mm-hmm. so they just want to target those employees mm-hmm. get the work done under any cost mm. and they want to present themselves mm-hmm. at the top management that this is what we have achieved mm. it doesn't work like that mm. in fact the manager himself has to cascade and set examples mm. and then only the employee or the employee can come to the expectations mm. what the management needs mm. but today what is happening is the manager himself doesn't want to work yeah. and he wants to put pressure on the employee exactly. and get the things done mm. see now there are examples now the sdfc vice president at up okay she collapsed in the office hours mm. then uh, there was an employee from uh, kerala working for ernest young mm-hmm. which is a international firm mm-hmm. they are also under pressure that female mm-hmm. collapsed yeah. then recently one of the employees passed away because his collect his job was to collect money from the people mm-hmm. collections mm-hmm. but his boss had kept him a target and he said by hook or crook this target has to be done mm. there was no action plan there was no directions given to him mm. so under that stress he passed away mm. so these are the examples where people today are going through under tremendous stress mm-hmm. for that we require them to give them some healing sessions mm-hmm. and some counseling mm. 
and so that accordingly they can come to a certain level and perform mm. with ease without under any stress mm. see basically today what is happening is the younger generation of the human resources mm. they don't want to plan anything mm. they just want to hire people mm. and complete the target yeah that is what is happening mm. whereas during our days we didn't have any direction we didn't have any <laughs> people who would come and tell that you go this way you go that way yeah. it was proactiveness we used to go get our work done mm. and that is how we used to present ourselves in front of the management yeah. but today management is posing threat to the employees mm. by putting terms and conditions right. which is not right mm. because the situation is such work pressure is there mm-hmm. unemployment is on the higher side mm-hmm. they don't want to pay on the power of the industry structure mm-hmm. getting people getting right people getting the genuine people has become very difficult now mm-hmm. so looking into all these aspects mm-hmm. people can approach us have some healing sessions have some counseling mm-hmm. and then accordingly relax themselves and work mm-hmm. with ease so that they can handle the work pressure mm-hmm. as well as they can handle the home front also yeah so that is how i believe mm-hmm. so if people are interested they can approach me i am ready to face uh-huh. the management and give them work sessions or healing sessions mm-hmm. whatever is required yeah because that is required today yeah. without that things will not move mm-hmm. so you have vast experience you have been working overseas also so how the life has changed how was the life uh, 50 years back and how is the life now what are the ch- different challenges see there? practically if you see i spent almost 40 years into corporates yeah our motto was not to get the salary <laughs> our motto was to have the job satisfaction yeah and be genuine with the management to whom you are working for mm-hmm. and then accordingly fulfill your duties fulfill your responsibilities and mm-hmm. fulfill your accountability what was given to you mm-hmm. with dedication and with hard work mm-hmm. and with sincerity yeah but now mm-hmm. all these factors doesn't count mm-hmm. people just want money yeah. and they don't want to work mm-hmm. that is how the things have changed mm-hmm. if you see the past uh, 30 40 years yeah. and the current now last 10 15 years if mm-hmm. we see this is what the trend is mm-hmm. but the india is uh, economically getting strong also no yeah. india is economically getting strong mm-hmm. but if you see in the last 10 12 years mm-hmm. no foreign international companies have come and invested into the indian market okay see for a uh, couple of industries like transport logistics mm-hmm. health industries mm-hmm. that industry will never fade out mm mm-hmm. because it is a continuous process yeah. without that you cannot run the show mm mm-hmm. so these two barring these two industries mm-hmm. lot of industries are affected okay. but now overall if you see the food industry is also coming up mm-hmm. because the debacle what they faced during the pandemic mm-hmm. they are trying to recover that now mm-hmm. cost factor has increased people don't want to pay higher salaries mm-hmm. so that has become stringent so people have to cut down on their expenses yeah the outings have come down mm. tourism have gone down mm. all these factors has affected very badly yeah we would like to know some more astrological aspects from you but we'll join after a short break uh, friends keep listening to acharya 90 fm your own radio we will be coming after a short break and we'll have more inputs from dr subhagrish thank you acharya after the short break you are listening to acharya 90 fm your own radio and today we are discussing with dr subhukrish regarding the sri lanka conference which was happening from november 18 to november 22nd acharya 90 fm is a media partner for this beautiful conference happening in sri lanka so i would like to know as i said uh, astrological aspects regarding this conferences what are the different speakers who are joining this conferences would uh, having the uh, different sessions i would like to know which we we have organized we, uh, we have a uh, lot of astro experts mm-hmm. we have lot of vedic astrology experts experts mm-hmm. then we have a couple of tantra acharyas okay. joining this program mm-hmm. we have a couple of numerologists we have a couple of 
different entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and a uh, lot of other aspects people from india people from malaysia people mm -hmm. from nepal mm -hmm. all these people are joining for this program mm -hmm. and it is going to be a great event mm -hmm. and uh, sri lanka being a neighboring country to india yeah so we would like to have a lot of relationships mm -hmm. on the other aspects also and mm -hmm. further since the president dr ranjit otappa mm -hmm. is a genuine person and a nice person mm -hmm. so accordingly he plans to have a lot of international conferences mm -hmm. henceforth after okay. this program mm -hmm. so that is given really a lot of encouragement because what is happening today is mm -hmm. basically people are interested in getting the knowledge mm -hmm. people want to have the updation people want to have something spiritually attached mm -hmm. on these astrological programs mm -hmm. otherwise what is happening across the country is people are having programs mm -hmm. but morning they go yeah. they have their gossips <laughs> they'll have their lunch and uh, snacks uh -huh. and collect the certificate and trophy and come back yeah that is what is happening mm. and people will call a lot of celebrity stars mm. to inauguration to, for inauguration no it is not only for inauguration ha. to have the maximum uh, crowd pulling sort ha. of a thing okay and uh, that is but nothing mm. see celebrities are at their own place mm. they are performing they are into the market they have got their brand they have got their images and etc mm -hmm. but with celebrities with spiritual and with astrology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know what is the connection <laughs> but today that has become a prime limelight Haan. for lot of organizers in yeah. india to invite celebrity stars mm -hmm. pay them couple of lakhs of rupees yeah. and then finally they say this is what it is and that is what it is mm. we can but, say it's a marketing strategy yeah it is yeah. a marketing but apart from that Hmm. it is the organizer who takes the entire credit and the benefits hmm. but that is not the end of the day mm -hmm. it is something related with spiritual it is related with something knowledge which people are looking for hmm. and i'll tell you the example of this lonawala retreat which we had on july 27 28 yeah in spite of heavy downpour across the country mm -hmm. we had a crowd of almost 140 guests mm -hmm. across india yeah traveling all the way yeah for 15 hours and 20 hours and coming and attending the program mm -hmm. having different kind of modules mm -hmm. and different kinds of eminent celebrities mm -hmm. those two days people literally had their worth Mm. on whatever they enjoyed at lonawala mm -hmm. because they had that knowledge they had the interaction with all the eminent celebrities and personalities mm -hmm. and that is how it should be organized mm -hmm. see i am not against inviting any brand Celebr ambassador yeah. or uh anything sort of that but when you are inviting something you invite where it has to capture to the crowd uh and it has to be something worth yeah people if they are paying you they should have the benefit but the mindset is now different mm -hmm. people just want to go have their photographs done with celebrities mm -hmm. have lunch dinner and come back with the award and so mm -hmm. that's all uh, people are getting more materialistic absolutely yeah i uh, would like to ask you that uh, question that why only sri lanka you have chosen because we have <coughs> always uh, go, prefer going nearby bombay you can you have sri, chosen surat nee yeah. what is happening is <laughs> people from the international market are approaching the indian organizers mm -hmm. and that is the reason this came in as a blessing in disguise okay so i decided okay fine if people are ready to join and i saw people are really interested huh. and people are interested in visiting the places mm -hmm. if you go international market people say we are not interested in the awards yeah yeah we just want to go there see the place mm. and we see what is the place how is the energy how is the vibration mm. that is what eminent personalities who are coming for this program mm -hmm. i literally told the organizer mm -hmm. that if you are keeping this program mm. keep on the higher side of the sightseeing more Mm -hmm. rather than the award ceremony okay. because people are least interested in the award mm -hmm. if somebody is spending certain amount of thousands of rupees mm -hmm. they want to see certain places yeah and and catch it explore it mm -hmm. and they can come and talk to their own people mm -hmm. 10 different people that this is what we saw this is what we did some research and exploration mm -hmm. so accordingly different countries if you try to keep Mm -hmm. with good eminent celebrities eminent personalities coming in program mm -hmm. that will give you lot of weightage 
that will give you a lot of interactions on spiritual mm -hmm. and it will be connected with on a long term association mm -hmm. because today people are wanting to have that knowledge in astrology mm -hmm. people are wanting to have that exploration of updation into the astrological aspect mm -hmm. but this the younger generation who are coming upcoming they don't want to do that they just want to go and spend the money yeah Enjoy. And enjoy. <laughs> that is what is happening. Hmm. Uh, what would we learn from all these uh, uh, aspects you are giving, Vastu, uh, Vedic, Tantra, Numerology? What the people of oh, joining uh, uh, joining uh, clients will be getting from this conference? See, they would be interacting with these eminent personalities. Hmm. They can spend time for four days hmm. talking to them, getting the knowledge. Hmm. And uh, there is one lady, Acharya Renu Malhotra from Delhi. Okay. She is also launching her uh, remedial book therapy at okay. Sri Lanka during this conference. Okay. So that is a big boost because mm -hmm. today people don't want to get into all these pujas and uh, other uh, yeah, rituals. rituals. Yeah. They want fast results. <laughs> so we have, we have prepared a 100 page remedial book. Mm -hmm. which you would be launching at the Sri Lanka conference mm -hmm. so that people can really take that book. I think the book is costing approximately $10. Okay. So $10 means in the Indian rupees, mm -hmm. if you convert it, it would be approximately 800, 800. rupees. Oh. So I think it is pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. We will be uploading it on the Amazon site also mm -hmm. so that at least people can purchase it online. Mm -hmm. If they want to purchase it, they can contact us directly. We can provide the book and courier it to them. Mm -hmm. This will be launched basically at the Sri Lanka conference. Okay. So that is how it is. There are almost uh, approximately 150 to 200 remedies mm -hmm. which we have provided in that book and accordingly people can follow that mm -hmm. and then take it on. Any event needs sponsorship. So I would like to know who are the sponsors for this Sri Lanka conference? To be honest, when <laughs> it comes to spiritual, okay. people stay away for sponsors. Okay. They will go and sponsor a lot of other activities. Hmm. But when it comes to spiritual programs, all the major companies wants to have excuses. Hmm. They will have some kind of obligations. Hmm. Because everybody who wants to sponsor any program, hmm. they look for their encashment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nobody wants to give their commitment. Nobody wants to give their accountability. Mm -hmm. If, in, if you see today any media partner, mm. I have got attached with the FM90 Acharya for the last now three years now. Three years, yeah. Then uh, we have Times of India. Mm. Then we have Hello Mumbai, Hello Womania. These okay. are our major partners. Huh. And from Gujarat, we have Hello Gujarat, who has yeah. also been a long-term association Associated, with us. Yeah. I think you have also I met him last time, yeah. Saraswati <laughs> Chandra Acharya. Yeah, yes, yes. So except for a couple of people, the, in the media segment also I have seen, mm -hmm. lot of people say we will market your product, we will do this, we will do this. Mm -hmm. But my one question is to all the media firms, mm -hmm. what is the accountability and what is the responsibility you mm -hmm. can give to the organizer mm -hmm. who wants to put his media program mm -hmm. of his organization, yeah. but nobody wants to give any commitment. But when it comes to money, they will say first invest and then, then we will market. Yeah. But when it comes to the commitment of accountability, mm -hmm. they say we cannot give you any commitment. We cannot give you any accountability. Mm -hmm. But what I see the difference in these four media partners, what I have been associated with it is mm -hmm. at least there is some sense of relationship. Mm -hmm. That uh, attachment is there, that accountability is there, that responsibility is there, mm -hmm. that yes, we are working towards one goal. Mm -hmm. But the same is not happening with the other people. Mm -hmm. Everybody expects that you invest and then we will see what is the returns yeah. you can get. Mm -hmm. That is what is happening. Acha, okay. So on uh, uh, Padmavati International NGO <coughs> and uh, this conference you are organizing uh, as your part, right? Okay, so now I would like to a uh, last question. What is astrology you think uh, how has been changed from over the years? Astrology is not changed. Achha, it's there. <laughs> it is there. If you follow the right uh, remedial therapy, if you follow the right uh, directions, whatever the predictions are mm -hmm. or whatever the alignments or whatever is the 
uh, traits and whatever is the problem areas in mm -hmm. your uh, horoscope has been read mm -hmm. by X, Y, Z or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If you follow the remedies and if you follow your karmas and if you follow religiously everything, mm -hmm. I think things should fall in place. Mm -hmm. But the problem in India is there are crores of uh, astrologers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the trust, faith and genuinity, mm -hmm. it is very few who are really genuine enough mm. to give you the right directions mm. and give you the right remedies. Mm. Otherwise, the trust and faith what uh, people in India have on astrologers is, mm -hmm. it is really shocking to see that people don't have that. Mm -hmm. But I have seen the other side of the people also. Mm -hmm. When you have problems and when you approach the spiritual people or the astrological people, mm -hmm. And when certain things are asked to be done, mm. they don't want to spend on to it. They expect everything free of cost services, mm. which is not possible. At least try to give some gratitude. If not something, at least give some gratitude mm. so that accordingly that Rahu Ketu backfire is not there. Oh. To avoid the Rahu Ketu backfire to both the parties, mm -hmm. at least some token gratitude has to be shared. Mm which people don't like to do it. Mm -hmm. People expect everything to be read free of cost. But when the other aspect of the thing comes, they will go and spend lakhs of rupees there. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to your own life, they don't want to spend the money. Mm -hmm. That is what I have seen. I don't know about others experience, but this is what I've experienced in my last nine years of practice. Mm -hmm. I've seen people come to you. People will take all the details, mm -hmm. nitty gritty things. But when it comes to gratitude, they will start cribbing. Even high profile people also, yeah. they don't want to pay. They crib more. They crib more. <laughs> In fact, I would rather be generous enough to see people like farmers, people who are yeah. really suffering yeah. in a middle age family also. They are the people who come forward and ask you what is the kind of gratitude you mm. are charging. But that's the time we don't tell them that this is what it is. We have done it exclusively to take care of your things mm. but only thing is small remedies we recommend them like feed cows feed birds feed the poor and they generously do it and that is how they treat people mm. but when it comes to the high profile people they don't want to pay mm. <laughs> got <it. laughs> lot of inputs uh, and a uh, good discussion we had and all the best for your Sri Lanka conference we would of course love to join this conference and so friends today we uh, listened to Dr. Subhu Krish he is a uh, director of Padmavati International NGO and also he is the organizer the director for United Nations Federation of Astrology so we are having this conference in November 18 to November 22nd and even if you want to join this conference do contact Dr. Subhukrish. I would love to mention your phone number if you could please. And the people who are interested to join the Sri Lanka conference, people who are interested to have the sessions on healing, mm. consultation, on counseling also, because the amount of stress level employees are going in the corporates, mm -hmm. I would rather request them to approach so that they can work with the lease and mm. continue with their mm. work progress by having some meditation session or some healing sessions or some counseling. Mm -hmm. And I would request the top management people also mm -hmm. to approach us and have some workshop programs done at your corporates. Yeah. That would really give your employees the boost, your executives, your top management people also will have mm -hmm. that kind of counseling and uh, healing sessions mm -hmm. where we can provide the best to them. Yeah. And uh, my email ID is ksubu23 at yahoo.co.in mm -hmm. and my cell, cell number is 915-272-7710. Okay. Thank you very much for FM Radio 90, yeah. Acharya. And uh, we'll be having this as a continuous progress because they are our media partner for the last three years. Yeah. And uh, we would be working generously with them continuously. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We would also love to have the uh, association with uh, Padmavati International. So, friends, uh, do join this conference at Sri Lanka and myself, Tejaswini, signing off for today. Thank you.